I'm going to have to break this one down in two segments, obviously. I, I need a clock here. I really need a clock here. Um, that took me 12 minutes instead of 10. They only give me 10 on YouTube. YouTube, if you're watching these videos, would somebody please contact the Abby Rabby? Either at uh, Bethesda Gospel at Excite.com. I'll put up the address at the end here. And or D underscore Bumi at Yahoo.com. I really, really, really am aggravated. Why? I want to know why some groups can get like a half an hour out here and I'm allowed 10 minutes. I want to know how I can get some more minutes out here and how that's involved. All right. I need at least a minimum of 20. All right. This is getting ridiculous. 10 minutes, 11 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 seconds. Poof, you don't get accepted. I'd like to have information. So if you're watching these programs, somebody out there in the moderation land of YouTube, I don't know how to contact you. Get a hold of me, please. If anybody out there is watching them and knows how to get a hold of me in there on YouTube and how some of these groups do, uh, please get a hold of me or get a hold of them and put the two of us together. This is getting aggravating. Anyway, that just wasted about a minute. Destroying the Torah is the second part of it. And I'm going to break it down in two sections here because like going over it really fast just doesn't really pay. While keeping an, or, or, or vindicating Torah uh, is a true meaning of fulfillment, um, let's look at the word destroy, like in destroying the Torah. It's included in the English phrase to break the law, uh, in the meaning that the mal, it, um, it, it, is it, um, sorry, is it the, uh, the English word like, like to break a law, like to make it null and void? Or, or is it technically, um, something else like uh, if you broke a law if you were speeding like and, and it's doing 90 miles an hour in 30 mile an hour zone are you then therefore not required anymore to stay in the speed limit of course the answer is no you're still under law to keep the speed limit speed limit there is established for some kind of reason they post it there so to to not matter control you and your movements but there's other factors that for your safety and for the people's safety that are involved. When you look at Matthew chapter 27 verse 17, he says, Therefore, when you gather, when they gather together, Pilate said to them, Whom do you want me to loose? Barabbas or Yeshua, who is called Mashiach? And Pilate said to them, Therefore, Yeshua, you do not speak to me. Do you not know that I have authority to let you loose? I have the authority to crucify you in John chapter 19 verse uh, 10. And Agrippa said to Festus, This man that I have let loose, if he had not appeared to, to appeal to Caesar. Acts chapter 26 verse 32. Obviously none of these vehicles have conveyed the meaning of, of, of destruction. The Aramaic thought destruction is a kind of an unmaking, literally to untie, to unbind, to loosen. It's a creation almost in reverse. Another way of thinking of the idea is uh, it would be to consider that we have uh, the talk of divorce uh, when, when people get divorced. They, uh, they dissolve the bonds of marriage. They nullify it. They turn each other loose. And they part company. The foundation is the great deep were released and the floodgates of the sky were opened shake yourself from the dust and rise up O Jerusalem loose yourself from the chains from your neck O captive of daughter of Zion chapter Isaiah chapter 52 verse 2 what makes um, Pathach a particularly important word is usage in the Hebrew grammar of which uh, when 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 you use this term you you have an open a the sound is very special vowel making the hebrew speaker is supposed to open his mouth as wide and he, as he releases the sound and you should use the aramaic version of this word ephatha in mark chapter 7 verse verse 34 as he commands the man released from his blindness either way whether you are dealing with a sound or an infirmity, the word clearly designates the sound, a sensation of a deep release. The ah. You know, you've been tied up and you let go. You let that 
<sighs> Release audio. And we need that <sighs> release in our life. The destroying of law is, is a matter of release. A freedom that we get. Do not think that I have come to unravel the, Trump, the Torah or the prophets. I tell you I have not come to unravel but to give proper interpretation of them. Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. He didn't tie and tie it. He didn't let us free of it. But he gave a proper interpretation of it because they had so many laws on top of the laws. Everything became clouded. Nobody understood it anymore and it became a bunch of gobbledygook. We do the same thing in churches today. They'll talk about law versus grace. But if I go bleep inside of the church, trust me, they'll remember the law real quick. Their grace is forgotten. Until next time, this is Daniel saying shalom.